so good morning everyone now we'll do exercise 14.4 question 1 it says draw line segment AB of length 7.3 centimeter and find its axis of symmetry so now what is axis of symmetry axis of symmetry and perpendicular bisector are the same things okay so if they ask you to draw or construct a perpendicular bi bisector or if they ask you to find its axis of symmetry they mean the same thing okay so here we are supposed to construct the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB so for that first we'll draw a line segment of 7.3 centimeters So here I have drawn line segment AB of 3 cm of length 7.3 cm. Okay. So now what is the procedure? We'll use uh, we'll use ruler. Good evening everyone. So today we'll begin with exercise 14.5 question 1. So we'll read question one first. Draw line segment AB of length 7.3 centimeters and find its axis of symmetry. Now what is axis of symmetry? Axis means line and symmetry when you get the same things on both the sides of a line. Okay. So what do they mean by axis of symmetry? Axis of symmetry is same as perpendicular bisector like we in the previous exercises we studied how to draw perpendicular to a given line now we'll be doing now we'll be drawing perpendicular bisector means a line which will be perpendicular to the given line as well as it will bisect the given line in two equal parts that's what symmetry means right when you divide when you draw a line and you get the same things on both of this uh, on both the sides of the line so axis of symmetry and perpendicular bisector are the same thing so if they ask you to construct the perpendicular bisector or to find the axis of symmetry they mean the same thing so first in this question first we'll draw a line segment of length 7.3 centimeters okay so I'll uh, name the uh, endpoints with A and B okay it's given here in the question so now I've drawn a line now I'm supposed to construct a perpendicular bisector so I'll take compass put my pointer on one of the points first and will open the compass through more than half of the length of line segment AB okay it shouldn't be less than half it shouldn't be half exactly uh, will take more than half okay and then we'll draw an arc above the line AB and one below the line AB and will repeat the procedure without disturbing the compass and keeping it on pointer A and repeating the procedure like this okay so what we did is first we drew a line segment then we took the compass and opened the compass through more than half of this line segment okay हमें कंपास को इसकी हाफ लेंथ से ज़्यादा ओपन करना है फॉर ड्राइंग परपेंडिकुलर बाइसेक्टर एंड विल रिपीट द प्रोसीज़र फॉर द अदर पॉइंट सो नाउ विल गेट टू पॉइंट्स हियर वन दिस पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन एंड द अदर वन हियर एंड देन विल जॉइन दिस टू पॉइंट्स लाइक दिस यू कैन यूज सॉलिड लाइन but I always use a dotted line so that it shows that this line has been constructed by me okay so these points here will name 
C and D and you can check you can always check your answer by measuring these two lines here this part and this part they should be same I'll name this uh, midpoint here as O and just for the sake of verification I'll measure it is 3 3 point 6 5 I mean it's between 3.6 and 7 it should be same here it's again between 3.6 and 7 that should be your answer as well okay and with protector you can see if it's 90 degree or not if they are at right angles or not so yes they are at right angles so we have drawn an axis of symmetry and here we'll write CD is the axis of symmetry of line segment AB so that's how you'll do question 1 question 2 is similar like question 1 they have uh, there in this question they have used a different term but they mean the same thing uh, they have uh, straight away asked you to draw or to construct perpendicular bisector so first you will draw a line segment of length 9.5 centimeters and then repeat the same procedure as we did in question 1 okay so I'll draw a line segment of length 9.5 centimeter exactly since the name is not mentioned here I'll name with P and Q okay and it's 9.5 centimeters so repeating the proce uh, procedure opening up the compass through the length which is more than half of PQ and drawing an arc one above and one below the line segment and repeating the procedure by keeping the pointer on the other point like this okay in this way again we got two points of intersection of these arcs one above and one below the line segment PQ then we'll just join these two points either by a solid line or with the dotted lines you don't need to name this point this midpoint here this is just for the sake of measurement okay we will require it in other questions but here it's not important so I'll name this point as A and this point as B and I'll write AB is the I'll use this symbol for perpendicular AB is the perpendicular bisector of PQ yes you can also use the symbol in exam as well okay this is the symbol for perpendicular lines okay now let's move on to question 3 so question 3 says draw perpendicular bisector of XY whose length is 10.3 centimeters okay so in the first part of the question we'll draw a line segment of length 10.3 centimeter and then we'll draw the perpendicular bisector let's go for the part A in part A you will take any point P on the bisector that you will draw and then you have to examine you have to check whether the measurements of px and py are equal or not and in the b part you need to take another point m which will be the midpoint of xy and then they have uh, they are asking you what can you say about the lengths mx and xy let's start the question and i'll explain you while constructing so first we'll draw a line segment xy of length 10.3 centimeters like this 
Okay, and we'll name the endpoints x and y. So now for drawing or for constructing the perpendicular bisector, the procedure is the same like we did in the previous questions, opening up the compass through more than half of the line segment that you have drawn. Okay, and then you'll draw two arcs, one above and one below like this. And then again by keeping the pointer on the other point and drawing two arcs like this again. And then joining these two points here, you can name them like A. Okay, we'll not name now because that's not we are supposed to tell them. Okay, and then we'll join these two points. Like this. So, like this you have drawn the perpendicular bisector of XY. So now, your work has not been done yet. In part A, you have to take a point P on the bisector drawn. So, you can take point P anywhere on this line. I'll take point P here. You can take here, 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 or even here, or even here, okay? But I'll take point P here. And then, now you need to examine PX and PY. So, we'll join these two points, P and X and P and Y. Be careful while drawing the lines. Do not move your scale. And then P, Y. And then we'll measure these line segments. They should be equal in length. Your measurements can vary because um, uh, your opening up of compass might vary okay so don't worry if you don't get the exact measurements like I'm getting here it depends upon the radius through which you open the compass okay so that's how you have drawn px and py and now we'll just measure measure these two lines so here I got px as 6.9 and here again I got PY as 6.9 okay so we will draw same figure for both the questions so I'll just write here for part A what we will write PX is equal to 6.9 centimeter PY is also equal to 6.9 centimeter. Therefore, yes, Px is equal to Py. Okay, we'll have the same figure for both the parts. Just we'll have different uh, verification or different uh, uh, writing for both the parts. Okay, so that's part A. Now we'll move on to part B. It says if M is the midpoint, now you know since this is the perpendicular bisector, this line has bisected this X, Y in two equal parts. So this will be the midpoint of X, Y and you need to take this point, you have to name it as M. Now, what can you say about the lengths M, X and X, Y? So we'll measure mx and xy or you can just straight away tell since this is xy and this is xm you know this is the midpoint so xm is half of xy or you can say xy is double of xm because these two lines are equal in length and xy is made up of these two parts so xy will be double of xm or you can measure them since xy is 10.3 it should be between 
1 and 2. Let's just check. Yes, it is between 5.1 and 2. Okay, it will be somewhere here 5.1 and 5.2. So, it will be 5.15. Okay, as you know 5.1 and 5.2. I can put zeros. I can put as many zeros as I want. So, what will be the midpoint of these two points? 15, 10, 15, 20. 5 5 gap okay so 5.15 will be the midpoint so this point here will be 5.15 you should know how to read the values on scale so mx you got as 5.15 centimeter this should be same for all and xy is 10.3 centimeter or you can say 10.30 and then half of 10 is 5 and half of 30 is 15 so you you'll write therefore mx is half of xy this is the one thing you can write or or you can write xy is twice of i'm sorry of mx you can write you can write one of them or you can write both of them okay so that's how you'll do question 3 now let's move on to question 4 listen to this carefully draw a line segment of length 12.8 cm so first we'll draw a line segment of length 12.8 centimeters. That's our first step here. Okay, since the name is not mentioned, you can uh, give name of your own choice. I'll write x, y. Now, using compasses, compasses, divide it into four equal parts and verify by actual measurement. So, in the previous questions, we were just uh, drawing the perpendicular bisector and dividing the line segment in two equal parts but now they have asked you to divide it into four equal parts so what we'll do is first we will bisect this line and we'll get two equal parts and then we will bisect the other two lines and then in that way we'll get four equal parts I'll tell you if this is your line and you have drawn perpendicular bisector for this now you got these two lines here okay but here you have got only two equal parts so if you bisect this line you'll get two equal parts here and if you bisect this line here from here to here you'll get other two parts so in this way you have bisected this line in four equal parts that's what we'll do will repeat the same procedure of constructing perpendicular bisector three times okay and then we'll get four equal parts and then uh, by actual measurement so that means you will measure the parts with ruler and they should be equal to how much 3.2 centimeters each so let's just begin so our procedure is opening up the compass through more than half of the length so this is kind of more than half and we'll draw an arc here this is more than half one arc here one arc here and repeating the same procedure by keeping your compass here one arc here one arc here so now joining these two points here
okay so now you have bisected this line you have got two equal parts and we'll name this midpoint as o or you can take any letter of your own choice and now we'll bisect xo and oy so that we'll get two two equal parts and in total we'll get four equal parts so repeating the procedure by opening the compass through more than half of this line segment and drawing an arc here and here repeating the procedure by keeping it on o okay or even you can just not disturb your compass and do the same thing for ox because these two are equal right so drawing one uh drawing arcs from this point and repeating the procedure by keeping your pointer on x so now we'll join these points here this and this this and this so in this way we have got four equal parts and then we'll check by measuring them they should be equal to 3.2 centimeters each and that's what you should be getting okay and we'll just name these two points like a b so now we'll measure x a a o o b and b y yes exactly 3.2 3.2 3.2 again and 3.2 so you have uh divided this line in four equal parts and you will write x a is equal to a o is equal to o b is equal to b y and they all are equal to 3.2 centimeters okay and 3.2 plus 3.2 plus 3.2 and 3.2 when you add them all you will get 12.8 cm hence verified okay i hope you understood now let's move on to question 5 question 5 says with PQ line segment PQ of length 6.1 cm as diameter draw a circle now here be careful PQ which is of length 6.1 cm is a diameter and not a radius okay so uh first we'll draw a line segment of length 6.1 cm and then we are supposed to draw a circle using that line segment so this is p and this is q here so now don't uh make a mistake by drawing by drawing a circle like this because in that way you will be drawing a circle of radius 6.1 cm and not diameter so since 6.1 is the diameter and for constructing or for drawing a circle you need to have a uh, center point so uh, uh, we know like how to get a, a midpoint of a given line segment is by drawing the perpendicular bisector because perpendicular bisector will bisect this in two equal parts and we'll get midpoint where this bisector will intersect this line segment so we'll draw perpendicular bisector of pq just to get the center point or the midpoint and then we'll keep the pointer here 
and then we'll draw the circle i'll show you how so opening up the compass through more than half of this length drawing an arc here an arc here <coughs> repeating the proce procedure like this joining these two points Okay, join, we'll join these two points just to get the center point. So this point here is the center. If you want, you can name it as O. Now, you'll keep your pointer on this midpoint here and will open your uh, compass either through P or through Q. It will be same. Okay. And then by keeping it on P, you'll just rotate your compass and it should pass through Q as well. And this way, in this way you have drawn a circle of diameter 6.1 centimeter. Okay, uh, students make mistakes by drawing a circle of radius 6.1 centimeter so that will give you zero mark in the exam so be careful and read the question properly now let's move on to question six it says draw a circle with center c and radius 3.4 centimeters okay so we'll draw a circle whose center will be named as c and the radius of that circle should be 3.4 centimeters then in the next part, we are supposed to draw any code. Now, what is code? Code is a straight line joining two points of a circle, on the circle, okay? So, uh, I'll tell you roughly that if this is a circle, the code will be a line which will join on two points of the circle like this. So, this is a code of a circle. So, now... After drawing a chord AB of that circle, you need to construct the perpendicular bisector of that chord AB and then you need to examine if that bisector passes through the center of the circle or not. Okay, so we'll begin with drawing a circle of radius 3.4 centimeters. So I'll open my compass through radius 3.4 centimeters like this. Keeping my pointer at 3.4 and pencil at 0 reading. Okay, so now I have opened my compass through zero uh, 3.4 centimeters. Now I'll draw a circle. Okay, so I've drawn a circle. I'll highlight the center and we'll name it as C. And the circle is of 3.4 centimeters. Now next step, next step is to draw any code AB. So you can draw code anywhere on the circle. I'll draw here just to make my construction work a bit easier. Okay, so I'll draw it here like this. I'll name the code this point as A. And this one would be B. <laughs> okay. So, I've drawn a chord. Now, next step is to draw the perpendicular bisector of AB. For that, we'll open up our compass through more than half of this length. Okay. So, this is more than half of the length. I'll draw an arc here and here. And repeating the process by keeping the pointer on point A. Be careful while placing the pointer. If you disturb your compass, your construction can go wrong. Okay. Now, these are the points of intersection of the arcs. We will join these points using a scale. Okay. Like this. This point and this point here. I'll use dotted lines. Because that tells us that this line has been constructed and 
or you can say your construction work looks neat or beautiful okay so you have constructed a perpendicular bisector of code ab and you can see we have we had to examine if it passes through c or not so yes as you can see it's passing through the center c so you will write here the perpendicular you can use uh, this sign in uh, exam also because this is the uh, this is the actual sign we use in math so the perpendicular bisector of ab or you can write code ab yes yes the perpendicular bisector of code ab passes through the center c okay hope you understood this question now We'll uh, move on to question 7 which says repeat question 6. Okay, if AB happens to be a diameter. In question 6, it was just a chord. Here, it is a chord but the condition is it's a diameter also. As you know and you all know the diameter is the longest chord of a circle because it passes through the center so we will repeat everything that we did in question 6 like drawing a circle of radius 3.4 centimeter uh, and taking the center as c then we'll uh, repeat the uh, same procedure but here the code will be the diameter so i'll draw a circle of 3.4 centimeter again so this is my 3.4 centimeter i'll draw a circle like this oh I have just disturbed my compass you please be careful about this okay I'll, I'll measure again it's 3.4 now hold it from here and be careful So, circle has been drawn. This point here is the center. Okay, and this is the circle of 3.4 cm. Now, you are supposed to draw a diameter. Diame you can draw like this, like this. Uh, in any direction you want. Any line you can draw. I'll draw a straight line. And this is the diameter. So, it should pass through the center. And I'll name this as A and this point here as B. Now, I have to construct the perpendicular bisector of AB. So, I'll keep my pointer on point B first and then opening up through more than half of this length. Okay. Now, I'll draw an arc above and one below the chord AB and then placing it right there at point a don't know why my hand is shivering okay and then drawing an arc like this one above one below and then joining these two points here and it should pass through the center let's see if it does or not so yes you can see it's clearly passing through the center it should pass through the center. So, this is your question 7. And you will write the same line. The perpendicular bisector of diameter. Diameter AB passes through the center C. So, your question 7 has been done. Now, let's move on to question 8. Let's see what it says. 
draw a circle of radius 4 cm and then draw any two of its code. So, first step is to draw a circle of radius 4 cm. Then, as we were uh, drawing codes in question 6 and 7, here we will draw two of them. And then construct the perpendicular bisectors of the codes. Up now, we have to construct the perpendicular bisector for both the codes that we will draw here. And then we have to tell where do they meet. They means the perpendicular bisector that we are going to draw. So, first step is to draw a circle of radius 4 cm. Let's just draw it. Sorry about that. Yeah. So, I have opened my compass through radius 4 cm like this. And then here I will draw a circle. Be careful while drawing. Do not move your pointer. Okay, so now this is the circle we have drawn. If you want, you can just highlight the center because we will need it later. So, this is the circle we are not supposed to, we are not uh, asked to uh, name the center. So, we can leave it like this or you want, you can name it with O or C, any letter you want. Now, we have to draw any of its two chords okay so you can draw two chords anywhere on the circle i'll draw one here and one here if you want you can name them also i will name them uh, this would be a this point here i'll just highlight these points because i need to keep my pointer so i'll be knowing where to keep it exactly and this is c I'll name it C and D. So I've drawn two codes A, B and C, D. Now one by one I'll draw the perpendicular bisectors for both the codes. So I'll keep my pointer on one of the points and will open my compass through more than half of the distance of this. Okay. Like this. Now I'll draw one uh, arc here, one arc here without disturbing it and keeping it on C carefully. Be careful drawing an arc here and here. Okay, will not disturb, uh, yeah, will not uh, do this uh, part for AB now because first we'll uh, join these two points here. Otherwise, if you'll draw the arcs for this first and then try to join it, you'll get confused between the arcs which two arcs to be, which two points to be joined. Okay, so. First, I'll join these two points here, here, and here. And you know, as we have done in question 6, that the perpendicular bisector of the code should pass through the center. So, you, in a way, you can check your answer. If it doesn't pass through the center, you might have made some mistake. So, be careful while uh, drawing the perpendicular bisector of a code. Since you can see, the perpendicular bisector of my chord has been passed through the center here. So, I have done it correctly. Let's do the same thing for chord AB. Opening up, repeating the same procedure, opening up the compass through more than half of the uh, distance of AB like this. Okay. So, that's why I, uh, I was asking you. To do this part later because you might get confused between these arcs which arcs to be joined so uh, we'll go slow but we'll do the work correctly okay so I have uh, drawn the arcs I'll join these two points here one this other one is this so we'll join them using scale again it should pass through the center because it's a chord again. Be careful. As you can see, this perpendicular bisector has again passed through the center. If you want, I'll just name it with O. Okay. And they have also asked you, where do they meet? So, they 
meet at the center o oh, we'll write we'll write the perpendicular bisectors of two chords if you want you can write their name otherwise you can leave it like this the perpendicular bisector of two chords pass through the sorry or you can say pass through if you want or you can say meet the perpendicular bisector of two chords meet at the center since they have used the word meet that's why i'm saying or you can write pass through since they have used the word meet in the question that's why i'm using this word so the perpendicular bisector of two chords meet at the center o oh, that's it hope you all understood this now let's move on to question 9 the last ex uh, the last question of this exercise yeah so it says draw any angle with vertex o oh. i believe you all know how to draw an angle an angle has a vertex and two arms the two arms where they meet is the vertex of that angle so take a point a i'll first give you a rough idea like what we are going to do in this question and then i'll do the fair work so draw any angle with vertex o so i'll draw an angle like this this is the vertex o these are the arms of the angle now take a point a on one of its arms and b on the another but the condition has been imposed that oa should be equal to ob now what does that mean first you have to take a point a on this arm and b on the another one but the a and b should be at a equal distance from the vertex so if you are taking point a 4 cm away then b has to be 4 cm away from o 2 okay so now o is 4 uh, cm ob will again be 4 cm that's what they mean by that take a point a on uh, one of its arm and b on another so as that o a is equal to ob so this is 4 cm for example this uh, should again be 4 cm then draw the perpendicular bisectors i told you initially that we'll be doing we'll be drawing the perpendicular bisector in this exercise so draw perpendicular bisectors of oa and ob then first we'll draw the perpendicular bisector of oa and then perpendicular bisector of ob and then where they'll meet we'll name that point as p suppose this is the perpendicular bisector of this oa and this is the perpendicular bisector of ob this point here will be named as p and then you have to check if pa is equal to pb or not so we'll join these two points here p and b and p and a and we'll check by measuring it with scale if they are equal or not so that's that is the summary that is the gist that we are going to do in this question now i'll do the fair work i'll advise you to draw a a bigger angle so that your construction will look neat okay so first i'll draw one of the arms of a angle of the angle this would be my vertex o oh, you don't need to measure the angle you just draw any random angle and this part here sorry this line here or i'll say ray here like this so you have drawn an angle now we have to take two points a and b on both of these arms so let's take it at a distance of 5 or 4 you can take any let's do it 5 so this is a here then it should be at a distance of 5 cm point b should be at a distance of 5 cm again so this be careful because you need to measure pb and pa 
they will be equal if you have done your construction work accurately otherwise you will end up getting wrong values so this point here is b so this part has been done we have drawn uh, an angle with vertex o we have taken two points a and b such that oa is equal to ob now in the next part we are uh, going to draw the perpendicular bisectors of oa and ob so opening up the compass through more than half of this length drawing an arc one above the line and one below repeating the procedure by keeping the pointer on the vertex o or you can say the point o and drawing two arcs like this do not disturb your compass and do not try to do the same thing with ob first first draw this line otherwise you will get confused between the arcs so i'll join these this point here and this point here okay with dotted lines because that will look beautiful i'll say or neat and this shows that this part has been constructed so i've drawn the perpendicular bisector for oa let's do this thing with ob i'm not disturbing it because they are of the same length so it will be good if i do not move it do not change my uh, the radius of the compass so i'll draw one arc above one arc below okay and then repeating the procedure by keeping it on o one arc above one arc below i'll just increase this part here like this now i'll join these two points one here and the second one here again by dotted lines do not move your scale while drawing the lines okay so this part has also been done now this point the meeting point of these two bisector we have to name this point as p now we'll join p b and p a this is p here hope this is visible this is p b this point and this point needs to be joined i'll use solid line because i have already used dotted lines so if i'll use dotted lines again that will that can create uh, confusion for me okay and then we'll measure these lengths it is 2.9 it is 2.9 again so i'll write pb is equal to 2.9 cm they they need to be same they need to be equal aapka bhi same aana chahiye okay pb is equal to 2.9 cm pa is also equal to 2. 9 cm so you will write yes pb is equal to pa that's the end of your exercise okay hope you all understood but still if you get any doubt you can whatsapp me okay thank you